Off his ass, moving like a fucking zombie. My little bitch, you too demonic. Bad as fuck, like Pocahontas. Ass fast, Pokeyani. My little shorty, call the body. We come to shoot up the party. Y'all gon' make me stab somebody. My little shorty with the shit. We ride around, we keep the sticks. My little shorty, stand up. Ooh, hit his face, we finished him. Oh, first guy said, my little shorty, stand up. Hit his face, we finished him. Okay. Long live, it's take your scrap, man. Yeah. All right, buddy. Introduce yourself for the people that don't know back at home. For the people who don't know me, I'm FBG Butter. Where are you from? CC Dar St. Lawrence. Okay. CC Second and Bryant. STL Java. What's like the top three things you hate about Chicago? That I hate about Chicago? Yeah. Shit. I don't think I really, I don't even got one thing that I hate about Chicago, for real. Overall. That shit, um, a lot of the time, motherfucker can't really go out and enjoy themselves. If you not, if you gang affiliated, you can't really go out and enjoy yourself. That's what I'm gonna say. But ha had I not been gang affiliated, it wouldn't be done about Chicago that I wouldn't like, because I wouldn't know about a lot of shit. But compared to like doing the stuff here, say somewhere else like LA, New York, Florida, Miami, anywhere. Hey, I take the rack with me, would I be, you know what I'm saying? Southern, you know what I'm saying? I'm like where I'm at. You know, I've been in DC, I've been to Philly, I've been to Jersey, I've been to LA, been to Atlanta. Like I've been a lot of places, but you know, it, it's really all about what you put out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you weren't in Chicago, where else would you want to be at? I had to go back to Miami. More of like a lifestyle there? Uh, yeah, I think I'd go back to Miami. For sure. So, what do you think your life would be like if you weren't a part of like the Chicago jail scene? No, you know, cause I'm a fascinating ass person. So I feel like had if I wasn't in the drill scene, I could have been any anywhere. If I could have been an average person. I feel like I'd still be in the media some way. You know what I'm saying? It probably just wouldn't be able to, with all the extra shit that came with it. You feel like if you never like was music just like your branching point kind of like from all of it like when did you start like making music i started making music and my first song i wrote i don't know it was a long time ago like how did like how'd you get into like music? but i started doing music when i came home i really did music because it was like I, cause at first I wasn't taking this shit serious, you know. I, like I got a feature from I got a feature from Duck, and before I had got the feature, folks was like, man, if you ain't gonna if you ain't gonna take that shit serious, don't do it, you know. And I it, I went to jail, came home, and I was like, fuck it, I got a lane, you know what I'm saying? I got a name, I have a fan base, rather if it's a negative fan base, whatever it is, I have. You know what I'm saying? I have a following. I have a following base, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was just like, man, fuck it. Do interviews or rap. Then, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna do both. It's, it, it's what made sense. Yeah, uh, do you feel like when you make music, is it just kind of like you pour your emotion out into it? Like, is it just... Where does that energy come from behind all the music? It's like, honestly, I, music is like, I, I go, I, my music my go-to because it like, if don't, don't if can nobody hear, if can nobody hear, I feel Kyrie here. You know, cause she damn bitch, one of her jokes, her jokes used to be, damn bitch, you clout like a rapper, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
or bitch you out like you're a rapper. So now it's like, when I do rap, I, I do this shit for Kyra, I do this shit for Doug. It's like, uh, I do this shit for, I do this shit for my brothers, for real, you know? Like, I got a certain type of attention, and at first, I didn't, I ain't want the attention, I didn't even look, pay attention to it. But I had people who surrounded me that was like, man, bitch, you got too much attention. And folks in them already was in that lane. Was already on that type of time. They already had that motion going. And they like, bitch, you got motion already like you one of us. And then I had, I had a little more motion than certain niggas that I hung around too. And them niggas like, bitch, you gotta put me in motion. In order for me, to, in order for them to get motion, shit, it was I had to get, I had to get in mode. You know, now I'm in mode. On um, bro, I'm in mode for sure. Do what do you feel? Where do you see yourself in like ten years down the road? Like I, I live nice. I live decent now. But like ten years down the road, my first career, I feel like I'm gonna be so far in, in life that. My kids' kids gonna be good. That's what I'm striving for. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I gotta be a man of stability because my daughter, mama gone, my daughter ain't got no mama. You know, my sons, they mama here, they got both parents, they got me and they mom. My daughter, she's just, it's me and her. You feel me? Yeah, she got our grandma, her grandma, some aunties, all that shit, but at the end, it's me and her, you know? So you're just more, so in the end of it, Kind of like fuck all the money, regardless. You just wanna, you just wanna make sure you, your family, and everybody else around you. You wanna Straight. make sure they're in a good position. They in a good position. Even if my position shaky and rocky, like if my family and them shit solidified, and they shit secure, then I'm, I get right in life. What's your three top lookers for partying? I so look. You know, I'm the party man on first grade, so motherfuckers know I'm first grade, you know? So, if I was the, if I was throwing a party or if I was going to a party, it depend on who party I was going to or what kind of party I was going to. Mm -hmm. And majority of the time, the parties I go to is like female, it's a female party, so I'm gonna go get a female, I'm gonna get the drinks for the females, through the door, mm -hmm. right there face, motherfucking TP, motherfucking Tron, Deuce, Hennessy, you know what I'm saying? Or motherfucking drinking Tito's. I'm gonna go get it. But I see, I if, never I'm had pulling, Tito's. if I'm pulling up though, and I know it's like, ah, right, if I'm pulling up to a to a, a, a gathering and there's five females in there, and I'm on the phone with one of them, she's like, ah, oh, well, we ain't drunk yet. Woo, woo, woo. We trying to get him old. Oh, I'm gonna come in set motion. I'm gonna go get a motherfucking a gallon of something cheap first. And then I'm gonna go get that special shit to drink on the sip on while we all throughout the night. That way they are already drunk. Or I can go get the uh, the, expensive, the expensive shit for the good bitches on oh, first grade. Then go get the cheap shit later because they are already drunk. No matter how it go, once they already drunk, they just gonna drink. You feel me, so? Now what about a party for the guys? Party for the guys, you gotta go get some dog for the heart. What's that? You feel me? We might be drinking dudes. We might be off Hennessy, Remy. You know what I'm saying? Or my brother, he did Remy and Rose. You know what I'm saying? Trigger did Remy and Rose. Kyra did Rose too, Bella too. You know what I'm saying? She was a Remy Bella. That's all she did was Remy and Bella. So both of them. So it depends on who we party and what we, what we doing. What the, it all depends on what the occasion is. Oh, fuck. Or it depends on who fucked up and who ain't fucked up. Because if we all fucked up, then it's a fucked up situation. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> Everybody's fucked up, damn. But now everybody's fucked up, there's gotta be like one sober motherfucker in there. Yeah, got at least one sober motherfucker. That's what makes sense in life. Um, but what's the craziest party you've ever been to? The craziest party I ever been to? I've been to a lot of crazy parties. White parties, black parties, Hispanic parties. But the craziest party I must say was 2013. Like four to five months into JoJo dying, they BDK Friday. They threw a party. We was on May, and a fucking flow caved in. We was we was in that bitch off uh off BDK. They was playing BDK, they was playing JoJo BDK. 
and motherfuckers was just jumping and bouncing and bouncing and jumping and the fucking whole front row floor caved in. How would you feel about if Young hopped on that song for the BDK song? Because they said they wanted him on that. Yeah. How'd you feel like that would change? You feel like anything? You feel like would it make Young more of a target? Yeah, Just kind of sure. like JoJo? For sure. I mean, like... JoJo wasn't even on target, folks. Lil Bro was a bug. He was a bully. You know, folks great. He was a bully and a troll at his finest. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to find a real bully and a motherfucker that's gonna bully you and troll you at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And that was Joseph. 